Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam Carswell. Hi, Grandma. And today is day 26 of the Raise Masters 30 Days Challenge. And today we make a post about our favorite economist. Um, I had to think about this one for a second. And then I was like, you know what? No, it's for me, <laughs> for me it's a no brainer. Um, it's a gentleman named Jeff Berwick. Uh, Jeff is the host of a podcast called Anarchast. Um, that actually is the podcast that four years ago, I uh, first heard Hunter Thompson on as a guest speaker. And Hunter will tell you that kind of the joke of him being on that show was um, the person who was on the show before him <laughs> was someone talking about something along the lines of like flat earth theory and flat earth theory, meaning like, like someone on the show proving their point as to why it's true and so i mean whatever you believe whatever you believe but um it's just funny to say that like it went from that to hunter he's probably the most buttoned up uh individual to be on the show maybe of all time and um you know i i like uh the way that jeff looks at the world and the way he interviews his people and so when i saw hunter come on there i was like i didn't know uh people that have this same type of crazy worldview that i do um were in commercial real estate and that they were successful and that you could, you know, have a respectable, scalable business and still be uh, an outside of the box thinker. And so um, anyways, that, that doesn't really matter a whole lot, but that is actually how I first found Hunter. And he'll, again, he'll tell you like there was probably 20,000 views of the show at the time that I reached out to him and I was the only person that reached out. <laughs> but, um, you know, I like Jeff, the way Jeff looks at the world because um, not only through with, with Hunter, but many other things that this guy ha has looked at over the course of his life. He's a Canadian guy who lives in Mexico and, you know, has, you know, three or four different citizenships because he's just a, a, a guy who goes all around the world doing what he wants to do on, on his own, <laughs> on his own will. He's his own man. Honestly, I, I love Jeff for that. So um, Jeff has explored many things in the world of economics as well as, um, you know, he has a conference that he does in Acapulco, Mexico every year that I've been to. I mean, the list goes on and on, but if I, I could probably count like five things um, that Jeff has publicly explored and posted on his various channels that I've tapped into. And one of those five things being the cultivation of my relationship with Hunter Thompson, which ultimately led to the cultivation of my relationship with Michael Flight as well. So anyways, roundabout answer to get to the point, Jeff Berwick, um, if you're somebody who, is, uh, I don't know what the way to put it, but let, let's put it this way. Uh, Jeff is not afraid to voice his opinion. And so um, I remember even when I first started watching some of his content, I'm like, man, I do not like this guy at all. Um, but as time went by, I started realizing, you know what? I really like this guy. Um, and yeah, I had the pleasure of interviewing him multiple times. Maybe I'll drop a link below to an interview that I've done with him. Um, but yeah, Jeff, Jeff Berwick, that's my homie. That's my go-to economist. And happy to, happy to say he's a friend as well. I've gotten to meet him, interview him a handful of times now. And um, yeah, so there we go. That's my favorite economist. Guys, remember, it, oh, remember, check out raisemasters.com to figure out uh, what we got going on over here. We are the number one mastermind for elite capital raisers. And remember, in all you think, say, and do, take it to the next level.